Oh my god. Hey guys, it's me, Mr. Stuffo. Back at it again with another video. I do want to say beforehand that I have a new microphone. And I'm so excited to use the microphone and to play this game. I haven't messed with the settings too much with this microphone because I'm scared to. And, well, I mean, I kind of did. And let me be honest, I'm confused and I hope I didn't mess it up. Uh, at all so I'm hoping the audio sounds fine and I'm hoping the music is okay as well so it's not too loud anyways I'm so excited I know I haven't played for like a month and I, I understand that and I'm very sorry it's because of school and because sometimes I lack motivation to do stuff but I'm really excited to play this I cannot wait and I just I, I just really, I'm so excited, I, like I'm so excited to do this, and I hope, I hope you enjoy watching this, cause I enjoy watching myself play this, I, I watched myself play To The Moon, uh, I watched my videos, and it was so relaxing, and it was so nice to like, kinda watch me play it, which is weird, cause, I don't know, sorry, anyways, enough with the rambling, I did watch the trailer, so, I kinda know a little bit, but I'm jumping in head first. I have no idea what's gonna happen. And I'm so excited. Okay, okay, okay. Enough with the rambling. Enough with the rambling. Let's begin. Uh, and sorry for the fan in the background. It's really hot in my room and I just need the fan. There. Sorry about that. Actually, you know what? I'll turn it off. Sorry. And then, you know, you still hear my creaky chair in the background. I'm so sorry about that, too. Ooh. It's the same, like, pixels and everything. Oh no! Oh no! Oh! Oh! Ah! Oh my god. <laughs> oh no! Radiation? What the? What? Oh, this time she's driving. What the fuck, Ava? That's how you keep everyone alive, including the squirrel. Hope you learned something. Look, look sometimes it's either us or them. By keeping ourselves alive now, we can keep- We can be around to stop more self-inflicted critters- Critter casualties later. Logic. And lightning. We should be arriving at the patient soon. I could- I could use a snack before then. Do you mind? Wow, only you would pack the glove box full of apples. Yeah, well, my nephew decorates the Christmas tree with them every year. And I have to eat eat them for ages. Apples on a Christmas tree, huh? Don't you dare say it. Don't you mean pineapples? <laughs> oh, Watts, I love you still. I'm not hungry anymore. <laughs> I love it! Oh, it's so cute. I love this. Whoa, check out this rad bike! Why can't we- why can't we go to work on these instead? Because we are here to visit dead people, not get ourselves killed. R really I couldn't tell after the trauma of you driving like a stunt double. Besides, we're visiting half-dead people. Very different things. Yeah, well, let's hurry and keep it up- keep it that way. All yours. Uh. 
I'd rather use the mouse because it's kind of nostalgic, you know? Let's roll. Like a cucumber. What? Wh why does? What is up with her and always the cucumber? It's always the cucumber. I swear, it's always the cucumber. What? You know, cucumber rolls, sushi. Oh, still don't get it. I don't need sushi. I'm sorry. Yeah. Uh, no, that's quite a stretch. Mm. Yeah, I'd rather use my mouse clicks, and also because you know. 60% keyboard, quite a problem. Here, I'll try. You might hear other clicks this time. Hmm, there's a leaking sprinkler over there. Hey now, what happened here? She... She kicked my teddy into the water! <laughs> It's an old music. Oh my god. Ah. Sorry, sorry. Yeah, well, it's a dumb bear. Just like your lame hair. Who looks like that? But Ma said my bun buns are pretty. Yeah, well, she also named you. <laughs> Damn, man. Oh my god. Uh. Don't worry, we'll get your bear back. Actually, let me take care of this. Why? What do you mean, why? I'm telling you, I got this one. Oh, here's the thing. Do I want to know what Dr. Watts is going to do? Or do I do Dr. Rosaline? Oh man, there's so many options. Even though it's just two, it's like I could think of so many things. I, I'm not. I'm just not gonna dilly dally, Doctor Watts. I just want to see what he does. Hey, what? Huh? Is that also hers? No, that's mine. You doofus! It's the new Rebel Doll X three thousand. They're cool because they got attitude and don't care. Unlike Wimpy Teddy Bear. Damn! What? Oh my! I mean. <laughs> oh my god! This is all happening so fast right now. He just kicked the rebel doll into the pool! Ugh. Dude, that is typical Neil. What did I expect Neil to do, honestly? I didn't even see the doll. I, it's just I'm so I'm still pretty hyper, cause yeah. Neil, what the jalapeno did you do? What? What do you mean what? <clears throat> you just took some kid's doll and kicked it into the water. You get sued for. Yay! You're my hero. No probs, kid. In your face. <laughs> Da, 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 da. Sorry, this is so messed up. Justice is cold and damp, Ava. Kind of like a tuna. What does that have to do with anything? A tuna? Sorry, I'm kind of curious. Let's walk around here. I want to see what's out here. Am I? Is there anything? Anything? <laughs> nope. Had enough of street life for one day. Alright, yep, yep. That that's pretty typical for him to say, honestly. Let's see. Boom. Boom boom. Ooh, wait, wait, I can interact with it. Don't touch it. Sheesh, you make it sound as if if it were yours. Hey, uh, do you want me to get it back? Leave her be, we got more important stuff to do. I mean, what would Ava do if she if she did that? But honestly, I like I like Watts' way better. 
I love his way so much better. You literally just kicked it. I'm sorry, I like exploring. I've never seen this before at all. This is so new to me. Even though it's like the same art style, same everything, it's like, I don't know the story this time. I don't know the plot twist. I don't know the, I don't know what's gonna happen. And if, if anything to the moon has taught me is that like, even if you know it, it still hits you hard. It's crazy. Alright, what's over here? I'm sure there's nothing here, but like, I can't help it. Okay, there's nothing here. Sorry if I'm speaking a little loud. I have new headphones as well, and it's like different. Hello. Hey there, this is Dr. Rosaline and Dr. Watts from Sigmund. You're actually here. Yeah, hope we're on time. Um, are you letting us in? I'll wait outside the door for you. What was that? What was- what was what? Did you not feel the blast of ice through the monitor? Well, if she's the patient's spouse, then she's got a lot of- she's- she's got a dying spouse. It's not like we're here to lay out a picnic. Alright, maybe it's just me. Hello, sir? Sir? Hello? 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 Uh, I excuse me? What? Okay. Here to fulfill someone's dying wish, huh? How'd you know? This is the second time I've seen a visit from your company this week. Who is it this time? Colin Reeds. Know of him? The retired pilot? Yeah, he lives on the floor on the top. Go and give him give him the happy ending he deserves. Probably. What do you mean by probably? Wait, what's this? Anything I can interact with? This music is so ominous. Why is it so ominous? Wait, what is this? Why do I feel so, like, I feel kind of uneasy. This music makes me feel so uneasy. Spouses, am I right? Hmm? Always makes the job so cumbersome. Depends on the person. Dr. Rosaline, is it? And Dr. Watts. <laughs> yes, we're here for Colin. Of course. Thank you both for coming. Right this way. We can talk inside. Colin's waiting. Now that my like hyperness has like stopped, I Act one. Tell me, what do you want to change? Hmm, what does that mean? Ooh, it's another piano theme. Huh, this is a quaint quaint place you got. He Colin's in the other room. Come with me. Right down to business. I like that. Do you actually? 
Yeah, cause right now, I just really need to put this box down. <laughs> of course, that's the one thing he's thinking of, is the box. Uh, how heavy is that box? And I still haven't answered my question of like, like, what is inside the box besides like the helmets and the... I don't know. I, I, I you know, don't worry about it. <laughs> just little thoughts in my head. You must be here for my father. Yes, indeed we are. You're the patient's son? Yeah, I came as soon as I heard. But we can talk later. Why don't you get set up first? That box looks heavy. See? He gets it. <laughs> of course, of course, man. Are you guys ready to get settled? Look around more. Uh, not yet. My colleague could use some workout carry- uh, more- uh, more workout carrying the equipment around. She's always taking care of me. Are you two ready? Yeah, just give us a moment. Okay, I accidentally clicked- I'm so dumb. Uh, <laughs> I was gonna explore some more, but I accidentally clicked okay. Cause, you know, it's okay. Is the power here sufficient? Why does everyone keep asking that? It'll work fine, sheesh. But first, brace yourself for a power outage of cinematic proportions. <laughs> it didn't happen. <laughs> huh, I guess you got a more suitable power grid than, the, than our headquarters. That's equally comforting as it is worrisome. You're in good hands. We do this all the time. Too much of the time, if you ask me. So... So, you, you two are for real? What do you mean? You can really fulfill his wish? Yes, we can. We got this. We're we're certainly we'll cer we'll, uh, we'll we'll certainly try our best, ma'am. But we always succeed because it would only be in his head, though. Not like he'd be able to tell the difference. Anyhow, fess up. What is it? What is it that he wants? He couldn't tell us. He said it doesn't affect us, and we have nothing to worry about. Well, that sounds legit. Look, that's... that's okay. We'll find out from him soon enough. Isn't it also in the paperwork? Yeah, but who reads that stuff? <laughs> They're like, wait, 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 is this guy actually for real? Like, uh, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. But seriously, where did the file go? It wasn't in the box? Nope, guess I might have left it in the car. Alright, I guess we, ha we got time while the machine's booting up anyways. So let's go here. Well, someone's gotta go get it. And that someone could be you. But you're the one who forgot it. Exactly. Do you want me to go back and forget it again? <laughs> I picked the right choice. I'm so good at picking the right choice. Oh my god. I've updated the system. It's practically configuring itself now. Cool, that'll that'll save some time. Ooh, it's the same doctor model. Or like maybe it's the same doctor. Already right, down to business, huh? Hey, I recognize you. Yeah, it's been a while. Although, weren't Dr. Winters and Dr. Lin assigned to this patient instead? Yeah, but they had a full roster at the time, so we took over. Save their ar asses. Arses. Sorry. <laughs> Ironically, turned out they got nothing to do today. Hmm. I guess you never know the timing with the nature of your job. Anyhow... 
don't mind me. I'm I'm just gonna go check on the patient. Can I talk to her? Try to leave him be. Disturbances only make my job harder. Uh, don't you have to go get something before we get- we can get started? Uh, yeah. I'll be right back. Oh, yeah, 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 the stupid thingy. The thing Watts left. Is there anything I can help with? I'm just gonna go get something from the car, but, uh, you could show Dr. Watts around in a bit. Okay, understood. So far, this story? A little weird, I'm not gonna lie. Like, this- these people seem so distant from this guy. Like, I don't know what he's hiding. Apparently, he used to be a pilot. And we don't know what his wish is yet. Hmm. Based on the trailer, it seemed like there was an orchestra of some sort. I don't know. I'm so curious. Hey, you should probably get- uh, go to- uh, go get Colin's monitor from Mr. Doctor over there first. Yep, on it. What? Why was I supposed to do that first? <clears throat> See, look, a piano. Here, this should probably- this should help. And there it is. Yep. Press escape or right click on the menu. Excellent. Now, having him have a heart attack would probably give me- give me one too. Yeah, there it is. He's doing so- he's so good so far. Alright, anyways. Let's go back to the car. Ooh, we can explore around a little. A pot of homegrown hibiscus. I'd rather leave the snooping to Neil. He'll he'll have time for it while I get to the car. Ah, I see, I see. I get you, game. I get you. Leave it to Neil. Mm -hmm. Wait, you can press Q to switch between characters. Well. It's entered- it's entered automatic configuration mode. It does that now? Yep, my handiwork with the sole purpose of setting myself free- free to play hooky. Wait, sorry, what? Uh, yep, my ha my handiwork with the sole purpose of setting myself free to play ho ho hooky. But instead, I gotta go gather background information on the patient. Well, I'll go keep an eye on the patient. That's how you get lazy eye. Keep both eyes on him, please. I'm so confused right now. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Let's um let's do one at a time. Let's do one at a time. Let's go snoop around a little. Anything I could uh, help with, Doc? Let's, let's talk about Colin first. Seeing as we're gonna gonna go in your father's head and, and all, uh, some background info would help. Well, he's a retired airline pilot and quite quite the people person. Worked hard to support the family from the ground up and always made time for us. Although, more recently... But recently what? Well, nothing unexpected at, at this stage of life, I suppose. Look, I'd rather not write out tomb tombstone text before they're due. Why don't I show you around, uh, around before your colleagues come back? Maybe that'll help. Sweet, spares, spares me the asking. No, retired pilot. Asher has joined the party. Hold on. Collins used to work as the airline airlines as a commercial pilot. Oh, so he's just like a like you go to the he's like a flight a captain guy. It's really cool. Uh, can I go in here? I can. An age digital piano. Uh, this is my mother's old keyboard. She, she used to lull me to sleep playing it back in the days. We all have our lullabies. Mine's Beethoven, 
Beethoven's Fifth. It's a cello! Aw, oh, this brings me back to orchestra days. A dusty cello with quite a few scratches across the board. She plays the cello too? No, uh, this is my father's. He played it a lot back in the day. Seems like it hasn't been touched in a while. Yeah, I guess it's hard on the wrist. He usually just plays the scales though. It's not exactly music to be enjoyed. Received note, aged cello. Okay, this is the bathroom. Ooh, Ava's gonna love this. Hello? Code 32, Ava, code 32! Rectify it! No, I don't wanna. Dang, damn it, I'll be right there. What is he doing? What is Neil doing? It's called a toilet paper dispenser for a reason! How hard wa- how, how hard was that? And you- shame on you for abusing my OCD. Did she really come all the way over there for that? She could've used the exercise. Okay, wait, wait. Here's the question, though. I, like, I, I'm not trying to, like... Like... Like, be mean to OCD and stuff, but, like, I don't really fully understand it. Entirely, so... I'm, go I'm not gonna try- I'm not gonna say anything about it. But, like... Like, I don't- I don't really understand OCD. I get it, like, you wanna- I, I- I don't know? I think you have to, like, you wanna organize things, right? Like, you just- Or, I- I don't know, I can't remember. It's not in my brain right now, but I did take, like, psychology in high school, so... I have a little bit of knowledge, I just can't remember right now. This is the kitchen. And this is the hibiscus thingy. A pot of homegrown hibiscus. Huh, aren't these tropical? I wouldn't know any better. My mother takes care of them. We've had we've had these around the house for as long as I can remember. I guess it's some kind of family tradition. Your parents' wedding photo too, huh? Yeah, that's them. I remember being embarrassed about that picture as a kid, but it's kind of sweet that they kept it so well. There's another place, like, right here. Man, this place- this- this house is big! An apartment with two floors- oh, apartment. Reminds me of a double-decker bus. Most of this floor is for maintenance. We just- we just got a little storage room cut out- cut out. Sorry about the mess. Seems like they're they've been doing doing a bit of cleanup. Uh looks like they missed one. I think I recognize that book. It's been around for a while. My dad kept it taped up. I guess he didn't want to throw it away. Yup, it's taped up alright. He doesn't want anyone reading it, huh? Well, under normal circumstances, I'd say leave it alone for privacy's sake. But he did sign up to become your client, so... I don't know. You have one new item in your inventory. Of course I'm unsealing it. Um, for the sake of science and, uh, the client. Bad Watts. No, I'm just kidding. I'm the one who chose it. Holy crap! What? What is it? Nothing. Uh, huh? L literally nothing. It's just a bunch of blank, wrinkled papers. Seems like they were just glued back onto the spine, too. That's... odd. It's been around for ages, though. Maybe whatever was on it... was on there faded? I suppose. 
But either way, I can't do much with with this as it as it is. Maybe it's invisible ink. Like, you know, like the pilots, like invisible ink, they have like the blue light and they're like, ooh, invisible ink. No, probably not. Uh, let's look somewhere else. Where is it? Oh, the green book. It's filled with blank pages. Wait, 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 but that's weird. Why do you have a blank paged book that you just keep around? Man, I don't know. I'm so confused right now. Oh, actually, there's something else that I, that might help you prepare. Ooh, this music is like a like a remixed version of the other one. That's cool. It's like a guitar version. <gasps> With a cello! Oh, I love cello. That's so good. Uh, here's the family photo album. Goes way back. Thanks. Uh, never too early to feel like a grandma. I'll go check on my father then. My colleague, my colleague will be back soon, so I should go get the machine ready too. But I'll flip through this page for uh, for a bit first. I want to listen to this music. It's so pretty. Aww. Aww, <laughs> what happened here? What? <laughs> Seems like he made a joke and then he was like, cringe, and then the mother's like, <laughs> or I don't know. <laughs> this one is just a regular photo. Oh, that's so cute. Aww. They're so cute together. Are there people who have naturally gray hair? Maybe. I don't know science that well. Oh, it's a piano. And then he would do the cello. And then... Honestly, to me, sometimes that kind of looked like a bass because of the pixel. But it, it's, it looks like a cello or a bass, so... What is this? He's leaving to be a pilot? Maybe? Wait, just that's it? Aww. Can I talk to him again? Done already? He didn't die on you, did he? No, I just forgot something. But gosh, I sure hope not. Oh, I wonder what happened with the kids. Are they okay? Um, uh, mom. It's like whistling this time. It's like whistling and then... Is that like a... A ukulele? Like a bang bang? Or a banjo? Like bang? Oh wait! It's a, vi it's a violin! It's like picking. Oh, maybe it is. Or maybe I'm reading it too much into it. Who's dying, dear? Uh, pardon me, ma'am? That code and tag. You are from Sig Sigmund. If you are here, then someone someone's time is up. Uh, Colin Reeds. Do you know him? I see. Uh, he and his wife used to stroll with my husband and me here every day. Please do your best for him, dear. You sound rather accepting of his fate. After years of seeing everyone around around you go, it's hard not to be. But then you see all the people who sh uh, people should know that well. But uh, wait, but then you all of all people should know that well. Oh, the kids are gone. <gasps> wait, 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 wait! There's a bird. There's a duck. I almost didn't see that. It's a duck. Or is that a is that a goose or a duck? I think that's a duck. Ah, ah, ah. Hello? What? There you go. 
Pew pew. Do I have to walk all the way back? The file isn't in the car either. That doofus must have left it in the office. Oh, who's this? Dr. Roxanne Winters. Ava! Hey, Roxy, still at the office? Yep, just waiting on the elevator. Not that you, you'd understand with, with it opening instantly for you every time. What? That's a myth. I wait for elevators too. Yeah, when was the last time it didn't open instantly? Uh... See? You're either freakishly lucky or... Okay, okay, for pumpkin's sake. Look, uh, Neil forgot the patient's files. Could you help us out? Okie dokie, po pokey loki. Just give me a minute. What? Okie dokie, pokey loki? Alright. Mission accomplished? Neil, the file wasn't in the car. Fuck, I forgot it in the office, didn't I? It's fine. I called Roxanne. She's gonna f she's gonna find it and send it over over a scan. Oh. Well, my office is locked, but she could check the printer in the lobby. Neil, Neil, <laughs> Neil. Uh, yep, she's on it. I'm heading back soon. Oh wait, she knows it's locked. Ah, smart. Oh. Kachow, did you find it, Rox? Yep, it was sitting on Neil's table. Cool beans, just scan it and... Wait, Neil's table? You're inside Neil's office? Yep, you asked me to get the files, right? Yeah, but Neil said he had his door locked? Oh, a girl's got her ways. What? Elaborate. Not like that, silly. I just hacked his electronic lock like a slice of cheese. Oh, okay. Well, uh, just get out of get out of there and send me a scan, would you? Yep, yep, on it. What? Wait, what happened? Yeah, uh, you guys got everything else you need? Yep, Neil's setting up the machine right now. How's the weather out there? Huh? Is it nice out for a drive? It's not bad? Nito, I think I'll just come over and get you get you the file in person then. Um why? Just scan it and send it over. It saves us saves time for for us both. Well, we've got no patience today, and it's boring here anyway. Anyhow, don't worry. I'll I'll get there before you guys are done. See you both then. Okay, Roxy, have a safe drive. What? What an oddball that Roxanne. Wait, she saw something behind a. F like a shelf. What was inside Neil's office? Oh my god, there's so many mysteries right now. I'm so confused. Is everything ready? You betcha. How about the file? Has Roxanne sent the scans? No. She said she's coming over to bring it in person. She what? Why? No clue. She said she was bored, but... Something felt odd. Then again, you know Roxanne. She's always a little cucumbered up in the head. Whoa, language, Ava. Anyways, I guess we could still start in the meantime. Uh, your helmet's on the recliner. Uh, good luck. I hope you can accomplish whatever my father set you out to do. Do you have any final words? What are you waiting for? Might as well start at this point. Yes, ma'am. We're commencing it in just a moment. Commencing memory transversal? 
I mean, what choice do we have at this point? I'm ready. Wait. Before you begin, could you tell me what you'll be doing in there? Uh, we're going through his memories to grant him his last wish, duh. I thought you already knew. Yes, I know that, but... How? How will you- how will you be actually doing? Well... Okay, should I elaborate to this guy? I'm actually a little curious myself. Uh, we don't actually mind- uh, don't do much. It's- it's the machine that does most of the work. Uh, says- says the te technician. Who knows best? Uh, the machine calculates permutations of possibilities and creates a new tangent of life. In the form of memories, of course. It's an illusion, but to him, it would be indistinguishable memories of a lifetime. However, the permutations the machine calculates would still have to be logically coherent. So, it needs a starting point and a change in a, in a key variable. And that's where we come in. Uh, we tunnel through the memories from the most recent to as far back as we need. Drawing a, li a line from now to then. We'd then be able to help Colin transfer his current motivations all the way to his past. So, in his stimulated life rerun, he'll make all the kick arse decisions and fulfill his own wish. Just by his own volition? Is that enough? I'd have... I'd have thought- I'd, I'd have thought fulfilling wishes would take more than just effort and a second chance. I mean, can't you two just make whatever needs to happen... happen? Sure, keep going. Perhaps, but one problem. He's not brain dead. There's a few things that, that uphold the illusion of reality. Illogical hap happenstances aren't one of them. And since the world still- uh, world still must be self-coherent, we can't do more than simply influence him. Besides, we don't get paid enough to generate memories manually. It's not a cave painting. There's a little need for interference anyhow. Willpower is usually more than enough. Not everyone can reach their goals in real life. Time changes them. Motivations come and go. They always start strong, then plateau, then fade. That's so true right there. That's that's me right now. My motivation has come and go so far. But in a simulation based on a mental state of a single moment stretched into a lifetime. Or through a lifetime. Uh, let's just say that it's some powerful voodoo mon. Anyhow, uh, no amount of volition volition's gonna help a dead man. Shall we proceed? Uh, yes, thank you for the explanation. It, I mean, thank you for the explanation. It help, help me, ex like, think about it a little more. Interesting. I don't know what's gonna happen in there, but... Good luck. Luck's for lotteries. We're professionals. Ooh, sharp words. See you on the other side. Patient is stable and ready. Init initializing memory transversal in 3, 2, 1. It's happening. What's going on? <gasps> We're back in the memory transversal place. Alright, this should be Colin's last accessible memory. Yeah, and check out the uh, uh, reigning heavy sleeper champ over there. Leave that memory of her alone. She's not our client. By the way, I wanted to ask earlier. What's with the helm you put on our patient? Hmm? The equipment. It looked different. Oh, I just removed the casting during maintenance, that's all. Then why didn't you put it back? Hey, that reminds me. Did you know I added a, a new feature? New feature? 
Behold. Never mind, forget I asked. Ah! Character customization. Wait, no way. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, well, I don't want to change his look. It's freaking Neil. Smooth le yet manly hipster stash. Amish paradise. Rich oil baron. Smooth yet manly. Socks black. Socks even blacker. Gold trimming. Socks dead sock puppets? Tomato pattern. One red, one gone. Mithril plus 50? <laughs> I think that's a uh, runescape. I didn't play runescape, so I don't know. Dinosaurs. Paint plain black, even blacker. You know, I don't want to customize it because it's Neil. I love I love how he looks at the original. So I'm just gonna keep him as he is. Yes. I'm keeping him regular Neil. Ta-da! You look the same. Huh, I guess the system's com computed that my handsomest look is just how I am. I wonder though. Why are you looking at me like that? Okay, listen, you'd better not be... Tag, you're it! Neil, you son of a... <laughs> Ooh. What does she have? Ooh, pragmatic bun sticks. Saucy bangs. Long flowing locks. Grand mustache. Wizard beard. What? Why does she get a wizard beard? Regal face carpet. Classic Ava. No, I'm not, I'm not gonna change it. I'm not gonna change it. Again, it's like a thing where where I don't want to ruin it. I just want to keep it the same Ava because I just like... I like the classic look because I, I just love the first one and I love how they look and I just can't get the, the image of how they look in my head, out of my head, so I'm not gonna change them. The customization, not a good thing, honestly. I'd rather just keep them as they are, in my opinion. So I'm gonna keep them as they are. Yes. No customization for me. I like how they look, honestly. Huh, I guess we're both fine the way we are. I was hoping for some fireworks, but I guess the system that chose it was being kind. Well, that's a lovely system. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Alright, uh, let's go find Collins before he expires. Mm-hmm. The current memory position in time can be viewed by moving the mouse towards the top of the screen. Oh, uh, let's turn off the world interaction before we wake her up. After all that, I'm surprised we didn't- we didn't already. Alright. <laughs> so... I think I'm gonna end the first episode here. So far, we've learned a lot. That he was a- so far, we've learned that... He's a pilot. He's a retired pilot. He plays. He used to play the cello. He he's very. He's a very mysterious man. And also, I'm very curious as to what's happening with Roxanne, because she was in Neil's office and she found something behind a shelf. Like everyone's acting so suspicious. Like the people are acting so serious. Everything's like so. Like does she like the, even the the wife is acting serious. And then they don't even know the wish. Like, they're like... Because the guy's like, you're better off not knowing. Like, I'm confused. Like, what does this guy want? It's so interesting to me. But... I'm gonna end it here as like a little cliffhanger. I hope my mic was okay. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I might do part two literally right after. Because I just can't wait. Um... But anyways, again, thank you so much for watching. I hope the mic sounds okay, and I hope I wasn't, uh, like, I hope I didn't, like, you know, like, I hope I'm not, like, too fast or, like, just breaking your immersion or whatever, but, uh, I'm sorry. I just really like the game, and I just really want to figure this out, because I, I, I don't know the story, and I'm so curious. Anyways, again, thank you. Uh, stay tuned for part two. I'm sorry I haven't uploaded in, like, a month, but... You know, a lot of stuff happened, and, and yeah. 
Goodbye.